Hi everyone and welcome to this new post uh, and video, very different from my normal posts on my Morse, Lewis and Endeavour blog. Uh, I recently bought from eBay, oh, upside down, Inspector Morse board game. So what I thought I would do is play a game with my daughter Charlotte, Hello. Glenn my son, and uh, obviously allow you to play along at home as well as I will later scan the rule book, other information you need to play along. Just thought, give you an idea of what it's like or worth buying. I managed to get it very cheaply on eBay, so don't pay more than £15 or $20, because I got it for £7, which is about $12. Um, so the thing now, just having looked through, we've looked through the rules and etc. And one perverse thing is the game is that the, the questions, um, the game as it says is based on the first three cases and it's actually the TV show not the books. Uh, so we're going to play the first case is Dead of Jericho, even though it never actually calls that Dead of Jericho, but never mind, that's what it is. Uh, now, what it, now as I said, rather perversely you get six questions to answer. You try, you're trying, to, me and Glenn and Charlotte would try to find out the answers through playing, but of course <laughs> I've watched this, the episode so often, I can answer them already. Um, so, but I'll play along and try just to make it go along to see how it is. And as I said, I'll scan this, um, I'll put it on my film at the beginning so you can look at it as well. So it's rather strange to do that if you're a Morse fan and find yourself that you can know the answers before you start, but not everybody's like me and watched the episodes 50 times etc so oh, I, I won't, uh, <laughs> Charlie and Glenn are not Morse fans um, I know it's I don't know why not don't judge it's, uh, it's, <laughs> I know I should really you know disown them but, uh, but uh, I love them too much so I won't do that I'll let them go with that. <laughs> so anyway so what we'll do now we'll start playing and hopefully you'll try and play along as well Right, Glenn, you go first then. Okay. Okay. Oh, which way do we want to go though? We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Is that way as well, isn't it? Mm. I'll head towards the clue, I think. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Move any player here with you. Uh, this is your not move, Glenn. Uh, Charlotte. Thank you. Okay, you can go. One. <laughs> You're doing your much well, choice. <laughs> six. So, oh, I have to go on there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I assume you have to land on this space. Uh, go to any play. location. I see, ooh, let's make check this. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, or... No, 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 I think we, we wouldn't count that as a, a space, okay, no. Okay, so... Would well, you still take a clue, though? Yes, I imagine you do. Yeah, any, no, you wouldn't. No, you have to land on it, I think, don't you? Okay, so then I'm going to count that as a space, then. So. Yeah, that would be a space, then. Right, Oops. okay. But just let me just... Because there was something about you don't have to be exact to land on something, so just let me just verify that. I can always edit this, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, gonna move on. This question comes place first. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and exact road dice rolls not required to land a location. So you could you could land in a location there, Glenn, if you want. And then I'd have to stop. Yeah, imagine so. Like I'd yes. have to stop here. Yes, uh-huh. So you just <coughs> take a clue. Keep. I'm guessing you keep that to yourself, don't you? Or do you put the clue back? And write it down? Oh god. Yeah, I think you take notes and then put it at the bottom. Right. Yeah, just turn to the bottom of the pile in that location. Right, yeah, so you have to put it back in the, the bottom once you've done that. Right, Is it not working? Yeah. Yeah. Right, you okay with that? Okay. Well, Glenn is looking at a, a clue card. They're in four different locations around the board. And he writes that down and puts that clue card uh, back under the, the, card, the, the deck. Okay. Okay. Two. And two. Roll an even to move on. So I'll do that obviously next time. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One, uh, same as you. Maybe. <laughs> right, Glenn. Three. So we're going one, two, three. Here we go. Five. Six. Five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> I can count. <laughs> <laughs> I got an even, so I can move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you shall. You didn't need to move. Did you not want to take a clue? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm fine just now. Four. Is that four? One, two, three. I'm going to take Use that. So Charlotte's taking a clue. And of course, you can write in information down you like. Mm -hmm. uh, you get this is uh, you get this pad with the game and obviously you can write any notes you like to hopefully help you find the answer to the questions right yeah, you know, not going with shards doing that okay four is it enough yep Okay, another clue for Glenn. Okay, when they're doing that, I'll take my turn. That's a six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So strangely it says at the beginning in the rules, the object of the game is to win. <laughs> Which of course I think is the object of every game is to win. Strange. Uh, and it says the winning player is the player who at the end of the game has scored the most promotion points. And the game will last between 60 to 90 minutes, including setup time. Right. Here you go, Charlotte. Trying to solve it already. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give you a few more things to write on. Shall I just fill up the whole thing with one yeah. set of notes? Thank you. Right. Right, shall to go. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to location B. Go to location B. Which is over here. Right. Take another clue. Take another clue. Mm, okay. 
just show to the camera an example of clue cards. Hopefully you can see that okay, that's just one of them. Take a promotion card. Okay. Um, there's a promotion card there. Okay. I think you just read that, I think you just read that out, don't you? is pleased with your report. Gain 20 points. So you get 20 points, alright. Just put it like in the bottom, Glenn. Yeah. So you start the game with 500 points. So Glenn's just got 20 points to add to his score. And it's good to go. One, one. Two. Okay, so I'll land on this location. So you don't need to exactly land, get the exact number to land on the location as long as it gets you to that point. Okay, that's my clue there. Oh, should I? Should you can go, yes, huh? I was going to say, should I show the camera what clue I got? No, no, just that's okay. I'll just do that. I'll show all the clues later. Yeah. One. <laughs> Six. Yeah. One. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six. One again. Location if you want. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get another, uh, another clue. Four, uh, one, two, three, four. Go to any space on board. Right, um, I'll do something different. I'll get, take a promotion card. Promotion card is you reveal to Mars that you once sat through the entire ring cycle by Richard Wagner gain 30 points. <laughs> yes, I think six hours I should get more than 30 points, I think. No, that'll do me. Right, Charlotte. One, you take a promotion mm. card mm. from a slow mover. <laughs> Eight. Mine says uh, and says, Mrs. Lewis has the car. Sergeant Lewis comes to work by bus and is late in a towering temper. Lose 20 points. Right. Oh. Right. 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 <laughs> go to any location. Yes. Okay. Any location at all. Mm -hmm. Blue card. Oh, one on going fast. Charlotte. Six. Five. Five. Oh, that's twice you stop five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what's yeah. wrong with me? And the pressure being on camera. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to go this way. What happens when you get to the police station again? Uh, the police station is... Um, uh, do, 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 um, uh, so, when you get, you can go into Morse's notebook that you lose 20 points if you do that, mm -hmm. you're allowed to go there. The police station, um, um, you also go to Morse's office when you think you know the answers. Yeah. Um, but the police office, I think it's just, um, you just land on it like anything else and, and look at the card. Oh, I see you right, um, okay. Yes, I think right. that's what it is, yeah. Cool. Uh, who's to go? Glenn? Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm. Oh, slow but sure. One clue. Just show you my clue. There. Top it says twenty one forty five. 
25th of July and talk given tonight by Mr. Alan Richards at the Oxford Choral Society. Uh, I Five. You can stop right on there, of course, that'll occasion. Five. One, two, um, right, I'm going to go here and then go to the police station. Right. Take this. Okay. This is my police file card. It's notes on Chief Inspector Morse. Just get information about them. Oops. So. Right. Oh, one. <laughs> I'm moving so fast. station and card I've got again is a file on Sergeant Lewis um, don't worry I'll scan some of these and put them in my video so you can see what kind of uh, information is on these, some of these cards okay. uh, yeah. uh, shot Card. And as you can see on the board, it's got different locations of Oxford. It's very nice. I think this board game came out in the year 2000, so pretty much just after the last episode. And for, this game is in very good condition, I was very lucky. If you hear a funny noise, it's my cat. Here you go, Glenn. I think Sean's been. Okay. Go to location D or go to police station. I'll go to police station, I haven't been there yet. So. Okay. Thanks. Uh, where am I there? Six, I'll be number this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll an odd to move on, so I'll wait till next time for that. Six. Six. One, two, three. I'll go that way. Hello. Oh, and 
it's a round number, so that's okay. Take a promotion card. So, you recommend a restaurant to Mars for an intimate dinner. During the meal, a well-known soprano gives you an impromptu performance. Mars is in excellent mood. Gain 20 points. Yes. Right. So, Mars 20. Right, Charlotte, you to go. Four. One, two, three, four. I'll take a clue. Okay. Well, Charlotte. Reading that, line to go. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. Shall just check in the question to see if you can relate any of the clues to the questions? Um, Move any player here with you. Move Charlotte. Was that no, not Charlotte? I'm yellow. Oh, my favourite colour. Yellow. Four. Uh, One, two, three, four, take a promotion card. And you finally clear your paperwork, 30 points. Right, Charlotte. Well, I was here. <laughs> yeah. So, four. one, two, three, four, go to any space on no, the board. Right, meanwhile. Mm -hmm. uh, so, who's to go? Uh, you to go, Charlotte. Okay. Four. Another clue. I'll take a clue. You go, Glenn. Charlotte, digest mm -hmm. that clue. Back to the police station. All right. Okay. So we have detailed and answered Avery. All right. Mm. Right, I'll go just now with lens. That's a three. One, two, three. Right, Charlotte. Four. four. One, two, three, four. Go to any space on the board. Got to go to the pole. Mm, I'm going to go to location B. from your desk. Oh, what's a nice one. <laughs> And I need all those files. <laughs> Did I want to solve this question? Um, right. Four. Uh, one, two, three, four. The police station. This one's on uh, Anthony Richards, aka Tony Richards. Richards. Who's married to Alan? Right, line to go. Buy Moss a tape of a favourite concerto, but it's the wrong recording. Lose 20 <laughs> points. Happens every Saturday. Uh, because that famously happens in the uh, 
episode of Masonic Mysteries when his house is burned down and it's the tape that was used to trigger the fire. It's of course a tape of uh, by Arturo Toscanini, uh, one of the worst recordings of the magic flute according to Morse. I'll just read one of the questions while Charlotte's doing that. Um, the next question is how did George Jackson invade Anne Staveley's privacy? Let's go just now so I can finish that off later. Twenty points for one. No I wonder where Valerie was, and she didn't look after the kids. Mm. <laughs> Been busy one of her nights. It's five. One, okay. two, three. I'll go to Morse's office. <laughs> yeah, uh, points. Yeah. There's just information from what's supposed to be Morse's uh, notebook. It's just about him uh, taking Anne Stavely home. And things he mentioned in the home about our nice turntable, the Richards audio turntable, one that he has, etc. Again, I'll put some of these, I'll scan some of these cards and put them on the, the video and the uh, on my blog. Remember to look at one of those cards that you, it deducts 20 promotion points. Oh, right, okay, I'll do that. 20 off me then, we'll do that. Go to the police station. <laughs> right. What does it say? Uh, oh, sorry, it's uh, Edwin Murdoch's. All oh, right, case okay, for Ned him. Murdoch is his name. Shifty Prime Man. Okay. Brian's taking a clue. Uh, while the, the both of them are doing that, I'll read the other, one of the other questions out. And the third one is, what is the first name of Sergeant Lewis's wife? Um, two, one, two. And all Morse fans should know the answer to that question. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Light work. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Take a promotion card. Okay. Mine says, Lewis is pleased with your report, gained 20 points. Mm -hmm. Good old Lewis. What? <laughs> oops, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, One, two, three, four, five. Roll an odd on to move on. I know there's a lot. Using odd nine, was it? Yes. Roll an odd number to move on. Shall to go? She's doing that. I'll read the fourth question. Mars suspects the relationship between Anne and Ned mirrors the story of Oedipus Rex. Why? Who wrote Oedipus Rex? Okay. Question a little bit harder. This is the, the questions that Charlotte and Glenn are trying to find the answers to. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take a clue. Okay. I think I have four of the five. Answers? Actually, I think I have five of the six. Actually. Oh, very good. All right. Maybe. Big maybe. <laughs> Did you go? You know, let's look for the clue for the last one now. One. Take promotion card. You revealed... You revealed to Morris that you once... Well, that one again. <laughs> sat through the, the entire cycle of Richard Wagner. Okay, I can get 30 points. 
Of course I did. Because mm -hmm. there's not many promotion cards in the pack, so you're going to get the same ones quite often it looks. Need to go. Because what you do is you think you give all the answers, you go to Morse's office, yes. the game stops and then you see how many you get. Mm -hmm. You get points deducted if your answer is wrong. Yeah, One, two, three, four, four, five, six, roll again. Two, one, two, go to police station. This file, this one's on George Jackson. Of course, lives opposite Anne Stavely. Right, shot. Is there any points to read back to the PR on the Um, so... Uh, any unanswered questions are counted as incorrect and the value of the answer are deducted from the promotion points. Wow. Right, so there must be something in the answer to see how much points you get off. Yes, it is. Right, okay. okay. So you guys, so I'll, wait, I'll let you guys do I won't go. I'll let you guys go to the okay. office and see if you can get them right. No. Okay, and I'm glad to go. Oh my One again. Three. One, two, three. Oops, I was in three times on the location B in here. <laughs> All again. Four. Four. Three, four. Go that? to any location. Right. Um, I'm going to go to location C this time. Yeah. And Glenn said earlier it's probably worth noting as well where locations you've been on as well. Yeah, and what clues you've taken. Yeah. Yeah. Should have went to go. I very much should have. Mm. Um, go to location B or go to police station oh, actually. That would be good go to police station. To have yeah. For one of the questions. Right, so when Glenn and Charlotte's doing that, I will read out question five. Which of the Richards brothers made a speech on the history of the Richards turntable to the Coral Society? Why? Right. That goes under there, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, were you just there, Glenn? Hmm? Were you in here? Yes. You were no, I'm right. here. Oh, was that Charlotte? Right, sorry. Make me forget. Three, uh, one, two, three. As I say, move any player here with you. There you are. Feel for you, Charlotte. Thank you. <laughs> there it is. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take a clue. Thank you. Okay. You have to write so much down, you probably go through these very quickly. Mm. Six. Okay. Let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, the last question out. What subject is Ned Murdoch reading at college? One. Three, four, mm, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Go to location B. B. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to the police station. No. <laughs> what I do that? Another card. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Take a promotion card. So this one's uh, it's back to this one again. Mrs. Lewis has the car. Sergeant Lewis went to work by bus, so lose 20 bucks. Uh, hmm. uh, Shall I go? Forward 
Six. Right. Oh. Um, let's see. Three. Six. Three, six. Okay, I'll just go three, four, five, six. Okay. Thank you. Six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And roll again. Three. One, two, three. Go, Charlotte. One. One. Yeah. That's from there. Right, go ahead. Uh -huh. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And um, the wings are hard. So you recommend a restaurant to Morris for an intimate dinner or during the meal. A well-known soprano gives you an unpopular performance. Morris is an excellent mood. 20 points. 20 points. Okay. I think Glenn and Sharp may be close to solving the, <laughs> the answers and questions. Go to any location. Mm. I'm going to go to the police station. Right. Take a file on Alan Richards. Card and it's you finally clear your paperwork, get 30 points. Sure. Shit, don't see if she wants out, Glenn. Station. Station. And um, I think the file on Anne Stavely. I think she likes, Charlotte likes men in uniform, I think. Hanging about the police station. If I please group you. Motion card. You are fast track for promotion. Oh, what's the point? Fast track for promotion. Right. And two for me, one, two, forward two spaces. Means I'll just quick who's with that. Because obviously I'm not really a, so we've got a note, sort of blackmail note to Alan Richards. I know about you, and Anne Stavely. He wants two hundred fifty pounds. Shall we go? Three. One, two, three. Gonna go for the boss's office first. <laughs> two and two. One back to the police station. God, you, you're a <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're the, police the Tony Richards. <laughs> she likes those men in uniform. Glenn and Charlotte are close to answering all the questions. If I could add those police files on Alan Richards. Agree. Mm-hmm. Really? 
<laughs> Big roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll an even to move on. Two and two. Shall I to go? Four. Eight, one, two, three, four. Back at eight. the police station. <laughs> I've already read that one. So. Have you read? Right. Oh, I should probably try going the other way next time. Yes, yeah, yes, good idea. <laughs> Forgot there was another way to go. <laughs> one track the as far as police are concerned. That's it. Uh, that even? Okay, I can't move. Nope. I'm going to have a look at one of Morse's files, just for curiosity. Was it minus 20? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just about... Uh, it's just Morse saying, uh, at last, the late G minor symphony available on cassette and conducted by Crips. This one really helps me think. Hmm. Right. Oops. Oh. Four. Um, okay, you can go this way this time. Two, three, four, take the yeah. promotion card. Yes. Uh, you are sent on a weekend course also and you find very attractive. Again, gain yes. ten points. <laughs> For the clue, and the clue says 8:50, 11th of July. Also, a picture of Anne Stavely's piano with the book Oedipus Rex there as well. I don't know what it says who wrote it. I don't know if you can see the. No, it doesn't seem to say it anyway. Does it say from, yes, yeah. or from there? Right. Okay, should we go with Charlotte? Space on the board. This is for curiosity, I'll go to Morse's office. This is a picture of. It says, Don't forget, pick up Anne this evening and give her a lift to the concert. It goes to the concerts of the Choral Society, Gloria by Vivaldi. Right, minus 20 points for me. I've got 20, 20 in this one. Two. One, two. Is that a phone call? Yeah, I'll get it later. Sure? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to police station. I don't want to know about it, Dale. <laughs> One. It's me there. Five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We'll leave a number two as one. Yeah. Interesting. How close are you guys? You think answering the six questions? Mm, not very. No. I need one more answer and I think I'm going to go for it. All right. So which question? Um, number five. Number five, which is the question that Glenn thinks he just needs to find out. Which of the Richards brothers made a speech in the history of the Richards tongue table to the Coral Society and why? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and go back so that I can 
Edwin, this one's about Edwin Murdoch, or Ned Murdoch as he's known. Jackson and Stavely's neighbour. I'm missing a file as well from my desk, I lose 10 points. There's a lot, but... Right, Charlotte? By the way, mm -hmm. um, I think when I go to give all my answers, it may be worth not telling me which ones are wrong, but just saying that I'm not correct after I've given everything. Yeah, okay, yes, yes I have, answers. yeah, of course, yeah. Right, take a promotion card. You buy more as a tape of a favourite concerto, but it's the wrong recording, lose 20 points. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay. I would like a two. Not gonna get it. Five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Clue 26. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know that one. Uh, one, two, three, right, over the police station. This is a police file on Sergeant Lewis. Okay. And One. Yeah. Uh, Move any player to your space. One. I'll look at the clues here. I think. Oh, we're back to the, the blackmail note again from George Jackson. Station. 
This file is on Morse himself. This is things like uh, unmarried, no known strong attachments. Born 1930, Stamford, Lincolnshire. Yeah. Help to answer the question. <laughs> mm, yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. I'll give a show. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Three, one, two, three. Motion card. Okay. Uh, Lewis has to go home in time to pick up his children. You have to cover for him paid over time 20 points. Seen that clue before or not? Mm. I know. I think go? I know five and a half and six. Right. <laughs> One. Mm. Move any player here with you. Um. Card. And this one is Lewis is pleased with your report game 20 points. Making a phone call, we all know who that is. Uh, 25th of July, George Jackson, of course. Yes. 
One, two, three. Next shot. One, you can take clue 15. That's the entire ring cycle by Richard Wagner, which is 30 points. Okay. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four. Um. Big rolls, big rolls, big rolls. No. Oh, good. Uh, it's a bit closer. It pushed me a bit closer, yeah. So this fell's on who, Glenn? Uh, and Stavely. And Stavely, right. Uh, mm. Two. Then got Charlotte. Hang on. Oh, the picture's not clear. <laughs> Sergeant Lewis's wife. Which I believe is Valerie. Yes. Okay. What do you think? It's Valerie. It's Valerie. Right, so you get both get um, 25 points for that each. Uh, plus 25. Plus 25. What's the next one you want to uh, I want to then go with 4. We'll see what question shall I answer first then. Question four is Moss suspects the relationship between Anne and Ned mirrors the story of Oedipus Rex. Why and who wrote Oedipus Rex? Um, well, I know the first half it's because he suspects Ned and Anne were having an affair and Ned's much younger yeah. and Anne was like a mother figure to him. But who wrote it? I'm not. I think I know. 
because I know it's not Homer, <laughs> which means there's like a couple that it could be, but I think it's Sophocles. Yes, it ah. is. Sophocles is right. But the other thing as well, though, is that Morse thinks that Ned, uh, Anne might be Ned's mother, but he doesn't realise it because oh. Ned was adopted. Well, uh, his real mother put him up for adoption, oh. and he thinks maybe that's what happened that they met. And it's just a prodigy. Right, so, but you both get, um, well, you get 30 points each. Okay. Which one do you want to try for next? Uh, let's go with. Six. So question six is, what subject is Ned Murdoch reading at college? So, I think it's English law. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you both say that's fine, yeah. So you both get ten points for that. Uh, which next one do you want to go for? No, let's go for... This part gets a bit shaky. So, uh, I'll go for two. Number two is... How did George Jackson invade Anne Staveley's I privacy? One. Now, I believe it's because he had a pair of binoculars and claims he was an avid bird watcher, but actually used it to spy on Anne. That's right, he did that, yeah. Um, so, uh, number two, you get 15 points for that, I believe. Uh, plus 15. So what question, we get two questions right, left, is that right? Uh, number one and number five. Okay, um... Just one, so try Charlotte first, we'll try to see Charlotte, would you want to go one or five first? Um, I'll go with number one. So number one question is, prior to the arrival of the police, three things were removed from Nine Canal Reach on the day of Anne Stable's death. Who took what? Um... So... Oh no, I should not have to this one. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> So three things taken and who took the three things? Okay, so I alright, okay, um I th think No, actually I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't Okay, so I think that um so I, I believe George Jackson took the love letter to Anne. No. Or sorry, the love, love letter from Anne. No. 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 Ooh. I, uh, I'll say what I've got written down, but uh, I don't think it's right. Hmm. George Jackson did take something. Uh, was it? I assume it was the audio sheet then. Maybe not. Mm. What else would he? Did he take a wallet? No. Mm. Oh, the wallet was still so there. Yeah. Not burned. Oh, burned. well then I'm probably not right either. Okay. Um, I had, um, books. No. Um, mm, no. I think it. I think it was the, the love letter. There was a Richard's audio, and it was um, money. And money was one of them. Hundred pound in cash was taken by Ned. Yeah. From a purse, but he left the purse there. The suicide note was taken by George Jackson. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the first one, and I think actually they've answered this wrongly. See what you think. But it says that Alan Richards' flying jacket was taken by Adele Richards. In actual fact, it was an umbrella mm. she took. Because mm. if you remember in the episode, she puts the umbrella in the back of his car as if to say it was always there. So I think they've made a mistake in the answer there. Right. So. Mm -hmm. The flying jacket would have been taken by George Jackson yeah, so because I, he was wearing it. Yeah, so it seems a bit, I think they put this, that one wrong. So, so the last question is, um, is which of the Richard brothers made a speech on the history of the Richard's turntable to the Coral Society and why? Okay, I, I'm shaky on this one. Right. I believe it was Tony Richards. Right, yeah, And I it. think the reason was to mourn his brother. To what his brother? To mourn. Mourn his brother? No, I mean, yeah. no, his brother's not dead. Mm. Yeah, I was a bit shaky. But he definitely, Tony did speak at the, the Coral Society I think I was filling in for Alan Richards yeah so he was providing an alibi providing an alibi oh Alan right. pretending to be Alan mm. right 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 yeah uh, so Alan could visit the blackmailer yeah mm. and dispose of George Jackson so that is that so we did that point from me and then add the points to yourself each <laughs> no that's okay as I say we don't really bother with the points too much 
But anyway, so um, that's the end of the game. Um, we'll go around. So, Charlotte, what did you think of the game? I thought it was good. I, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. In, you know, it's a bit Cluedo like. Well, yeah. yeah. I like solving a mystery. I don't know anything. What did you think of it, Liam? I thought it was really good, yeah. yeah. Points out of 10, Charlotte? Uh, I would give it 7 out of 10. I'd right. give it 8. Yeah. What right. about you? Um, <laughs> The problem is being if you're a big Morse fan, it's going to be very disappointing because you can't really play because it wouldn't be fair to anyone else. Uh, so from that point of view, it's rather perverse that ma major Morse fans are going to be disappointed by it and not excited by it. I'm glad I bought it because obviously I like having Morse things. But, but as a real Morse fan, I'll only give it four, maybe five at the most out of ten. It's also limited in the fact that once you've played it, and once you're in all three cases, really that's the end of the, the game. You can't really do it again. Uh, and I looked up, to, I tried to find whether they had brought out more cards, more clues for other episodes, but it doesn't appear as if they did. So it is a limited game, it's a limited time factor. But it's something fun to play if you're a Morse fan. Uh, uh, it's, worth, it's worth buying. So anyway. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and uh, Thank you. my next post will be here very soon.